Hey guys, we're oh, here at the Super Micro booth. We're at the uh, workstation side. So Super Micro is more than just servers. They also do some workstations. And I got my friend Steve here to tell me all about it. Steve, tell us about yourself and what we got going on. Uh, sure thing. Hi guys, I'm, uh, my name is Steve. I'm a system product manager at Super Micro, handling all the workstation products. So today we have three really exciting products showing here at Computex. First one is our 551 A-T. It is a Intel-based UP well, single processor workstation. We're running the Fison adaptive software solution today that can do fine tuning up to 7 billion uh, models for this particular configuration. But the software is capable of doing up to 70 billion, 70 billion models. Okay, so three. this guy, this has got a workstation class Xeon in it. Mm -hmm. uh, what generation CPU? It's a W3400 CPU. Okay, W3400. And uh, so you get support, you got DDR5 support right in there. DDR5 How support. How many GPUs can I put in it? You can power play up to four GPUs, but right now we're only up to, we're showing up to two. Okay. Uh, we got six, two of the 6,000 ADA from NVIDIA showing okay. here today. So there's enough overhead on the power supply as if I want to put oh, three yeah. or four in there because of the work I need to That's do for it. sure. We have a 2,000 watt power supply in there. Awesome, okay. Well, I see something more fun over here. Let's talk about this. This one caught my eye. The slideshow caught my eye. I see Threadripper Pro 96 core. I see inner rack mount chassis, but it's a workstation. What's going on here? Okay, so we are actually super excited about this product. Yeah. We believe this is the most advanced rack workstation on the market today. So it is based on our, what we call the hyper architecture. It is a single processor in the Threadripper Pro okay. 7900 series. Can support up to four double wave GPUs. We can either go with data center GPU or professional GPUs. Plus, okay. you got flexible networking. Go up to 20, or, or we can do dual 25G, dual 100G, or dual 200G. In addition, we got eight NVMe hard support drive in the front. Toolless too. Toolless so you don't as have well. Any everything, tools on there. everything toolless actually. And I see the fans look like those might be hot swap. Yeah. This is interesting, OCP workstations. That's kind of cool. We see a lot of OCP on this. And then I got where, where we see our GPUs. But uh, this is a Threadripper Pro that's a WX. That X, I think, means it's unlocked or something. Uh, does this board overclock? Yes. We are the only company that's doing overclocking. That is right, awesome. Right, right workstation. So the. PDP support down here, 350, 351 officially. Yeah. But we can go above that. We what are, what are your VRAM support for wattage? Yes, uh, about 400 watts. Okay. So we can get this we can get this thing going if we've got yes. the proper cooling. Most definitely. Most I might definitely. I might need to get my hands on this and make it nice and cold and see what we can really do well, with it. I'll make sure that happens. All right, I'm looking forward <laughs> to it. Well, we got one more little guy over here. What do we got? So this is our first introduction of AI desktop PC. This okay. is running on the latest AMD 8700G C CPU. Plus oh, we like those. So they've got the APU and exactly. the NPU in there, yeah, so you, you got, got everything. Yeah, you got NPU up to 16 tops, but we do add a NVIDIA 4070 GPU in okay. there as well. So you now, get the best of both worlds. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So that's adding an additional about 466 tops, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So it's actually really powerful. AI PC system. This is really funny. This is like a sleeper PC gamer build. Honestly, like this case is old. Yeah. <laughs> but it's got a 4070 and a brand new AMD CPU exactly. in here. It's really kind of cool, actually. Yeah, this is our traditional desktop. You know, PC yeah, traditional. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's traditional. Exactly. <laughs> And uh, the good thing is this is available now at Micro Center. So I can just go buy it. You can just go buy it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Awesome. Well, hey, Steve, thanks so much for taking well, us through all the workstations. I'm excited to get my hands on as well, yeah, many of sure. these as I can. I'm hoping for that one next. Well, yeah, sure. we'll have to talk to our PR guy and see what happens. We'll leave a link in the description to the news on all this stuff, as well as Supermicro's information where you can read more on their website. Over here at the uh, Super Cloud Composer demo here in the Supermicro booth at Copytex, I've got my friend James over here to show us. He said he's got a really cool demo on how it works. Now, from what I understand it, James, this is a uh, total single pane of glass management for my mm -hmm. Supermicro data center, right? Yes. Awesome, yes. what do we got? Yeah, so currently uh, today I bring a live demo here. Okay. So you can see all the liquid cooling rig on this software. All right. So we got? you can see the rig uh, on here, the front view. I see GPU and, servers. Yes, okay. that MD GPU server, yeah. right? So you will see the detail later. Okay. So th this will cover in the uh, demo. This rig is exactly the same like the rig in the booth. 
Okay. Yep. yep. So we arrange all the design like uh, the, the physical rig arrangement. Yeah. So you will see a server and also the liquid device okay. on, on the button. So on the here you will see CDU. Yep. This one is a pump of the coolant yeah. to the to, to, to the server and also to the cooling power. power. Okay. okay. Yep. So let me show you the GPU server. Okay. So here we can uh, check into the detail over here. Then let me show you that uh, GPU, the uh, installed H100 GPU. So first of all, you will have the physical asset on here, and we will show you all the information, something like the BIOS version, BNC version, CPU type, memory okay. type, something like that, and also like the front view, rear view, picture, and most importantly is the AI infrastructure management. So yeah. we do including the GPU card. Uh, okay. Management. So you will see on here, we expose all the GPU card information. Okay, I can see H100, it looks like it's good and healthy, yes. it's connected fine, there's no problems with my baseboards, there's no problems with my cooling. Yes, yes, correct. So traditional way, if you want to monitor or manage your GPU server, you need to open your chassis, right? Yeah. So this software can allow you to remotely to manage your uh, resources. Yeah, and that was cool. You could go from the rack level all the way down into a single server. Yes. And yes. I guess you can see the cooling tower on here too, yes. if you have one? Yes. So next demo I'm going to show you is the CDU first. Okay. So CDU is a part of a liquid, ser uh, liquid cooling solution. Yeah. So CDU, we monitor, uh, first of all, the physical is, is similar, like okay. the server. And for the important thing is the live, live sensor reading. So okay. we collect all the important sensor reading, like a temperature over here. Gotcha. Okay, so, so all the, 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 that's the return, that's what's coming back yes. out of the server, and then the supply is what's going into the servers. Yes, okay. all right. All right. And oh, you can see the valve positions and how much the pumps are, how the pump RPMs are going. Very cool. And also, we have the database. So usually, we will store yeah. all those data inside our store, uh, database. Okay. So, and then we will represent in a graph a view, so you will see the analytics data here. Okay, so if you've got a problem developing, maybe something's clogged up, you can see it trending over time, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to show you the cooling tower feature. Oh, cool, all right. Yep, so on here, a uh, same page, uh, it's like a CDU management, we have a cooling tower gotcha. icon, and then you click there, there, and you will have the similar layout. Yes. Okay. So this one actually is located in the uh, outside the data center. Yeah. And usually the manager, the IT management, they need to go out outside the data center to watch yeah. what's going on. And okay. now they don't. They do using this uh, software. Yeah. Then they can watch all the uh, status of the cooling tower. Okay. So including the sensor reading, we collect oh, all wow. the sensor reading over here. Okay. So, so the sprayer for the that'll come probably cycle on and off depending on ambient temperature, right? And then how all my pumps are doing. Awesome. So ASI, printing, so facility. And does and this keep track of how much water I'm consuming? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we have that, 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 that data over there. Okay. And also we have an energy data. So you can see a trend okay. of your uh, water cooling tower. So you do a lot of analytics and my total cost and all that. So we talked a lot about TCO in the keynote. Yes. So this is enabling that calculation so I can really see that in my data center. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very cool. Okay. Well, thank you so much, James. That was actually really way cooler than I thought it was going to be. All right, we're checking out the Edge and IoT stuff here at Computex 2024. I got my friend Dixon. He's here to show me yep. all of the latest offerings that they got. What do we have? Uh, the, the, we are the uh, supermarket is the one to uh, provide an end-to-end -end solution. So we we try to accommodate the all kind of phone factor server. So this is the it's pretty the, heavy, yeah, pretty heavy. But that's a fanless uh, core system. So okay. you, you just see that's a lunchbox size, but with a ver versatile uh, com port and LAN port to serve the demand in the industrial. Okay, so it's yes. heavy because it's got to get rid of that heat for yes. me, right? Yes. I'm seeing a lot of, I got two NICs on here, HDMI, some different USBs, yeah. but this looks, uh, so I probably, port side, yeah. yeah, a lot of serial. We don't see that very often these days. Devices. So I would find this maybe in like a factory or yeah, factory uh, a, like or a it's a retail. Belt. Okay, retail. Retail, yes. Gotcha, yeah, I guess they still use a lot of serial devices yeah. in those installations. And that specifically can support the quad, uh, quad display. Oh, because these are we have the too. two HDMI and two Type C. Okay, so this yes. could maybe run some digital signage yes, as well. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, very cool. All right, yeah. so a little pretty versatile, and that's got a uh, 12th gen Intel Core processor, so yes. it's a consumer CPU, but it's got enterprise level management on it. Yes. Okay. 
And then moving on, this one's a little bit bigger. I'm expecting it to weigh more. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's got the weight to show it. Yes. But the bigger uh, form factor means that uh, can um, accommodate more capability because okay. we can uh, install a mini PCI, a mini ITEX form factor motherboard. Okay. Uh, we install not only core uh, like dash ps Core i CPU, but also the Xeon D. So okay. that's a very unique specification in the market. Yeah. Because um, so if I need to save money, I can use my consumer CPU. But if I need like ECC or something like that, yes, I can go with the Xeon. Sure. Okay. And I see we've got two NICs on here, a handful of USB. Do these do display out on the USB-C here yes. too? Okay, and a display port, and what, high-speed networking, or maybe a small GPU? Uh, we can still reserve the expansion bay for a low-profile uh, phone factor add-on card. Okay, here. could I maybe put like an L4 in there, or a mm, yes. small GPU, yes. yeah? Okay, and then how's this power? You get you can do DCN to it? DC okay, here. so DCN, so yes. awesome. Pretty versatile on that guy. Yes. So this one's way bigger. Wow, let's there we go. That. All right, this is moving up the chain, so now yeah. I need more compute on the edge. <laughs> What's this one? You can see that's a pretty different uh, phone factor yeah. with a uh, it's like a baby shoulder, server. a baby server, and we still reserve two, uh, three PC, uh, PCIe slot to uh, to for more uh, add-on card solution, but okay. also two uh, two point half inch SSD here. You got two. Yeah, you yeah. got two. Yeah. Okay. So this looks this looks a little more familiar, kind of like a server on the back here, yeah. and uh, I don't think we've got this. Just the fans, so it's That's just front here. I/O yeah. on this guy. Um, so you find this in the edge, maybe if I need yeah. a little bit more GPU or something out there. Can we take a look inside real quick. Oh, oh sure. sure. Yeah. Okay, so that looks like a pretty standard Xeon motherboard in there. Uh, this is supports the new Xeon Six then. Yes. Okay, so I can get a lot of cores in here. <laughs> 144 of them, right? But that is a single single unit. Yeah. Single processor. Yeah. Single processor. Okay. Yeah. But it is Xeon 6. That's a Xeon uh, 600, uh, 6000 series. Okay, so that's yeah. 144 yes. E cores that we can fit into here. That's pretty cool. I see a couple of M.2 slots um, and some, some DRAM. Looks like eight channels of DRAM. Uh, and we got uh, probably some versatile that's power That's we have options. a redundant power, yeah, redundant. power supply. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, this one's getting heavier. heavier. We got more. <laughs> you guys just keep making these things heavier. <laughs> And this is the the, the, the short depth and uh, ultra short depth. Uh, they open RAN okay. compatible RAN system. Yeah. So we treated this as a, a distrib distributed unit in a, a 5G application. Oh, 5G. Okay. So I you can see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we can connect with the a GPS uh, for the time sync compatible features. So it features. has a built-in receiver in yes, here for yes. that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, and also there are uh, 12. 12 uh, SP, SFP connectors here. Yeah, the SFP 28s. Yes. So those are 25 gig? Yes. Okay, so good 5G appliance for my uh, edge yes. networking. I, this one has DC on it, I see. We've got DC Both power DC supplies. and AC. So okay, this one will do both, all right. Well, and these seem but pretty then, rugged. Well, I have to say, majorly that will use uh, utilize the DC power supply in the field. And also we want to highlight that that's a NAPS level three compatible. Okay. We certify this. Oh, uh, all right. For uh, okay. NAPS, yes. level three. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, Dixon, you got a lot of fun little toys over <laughs> here. It looks like they're rugged. Maybe some IP ratings on some of these. Uh, passive cooling, active cooling, all uh -huh. kinds of fun stuff for the uh, Super Micro Edge and IoT. Thanks for joining us over here for a look at these. Uh, stay tuned for more. We'll put a link in the description of both our news coverage and Super Micro's information on these servers. Thanks for joining in. See ya. Thank you.